Welcome to the year 2024. And to make it a little bit more special, let's start the year off with creating a brand new intro. Hey, that wasn't so bad, but that's not all. Today we're gonna do a little bit of a special video because we're gonna show you around the studio and give you guys a glimpse into how things work around here, what sort of equipment we're gonna use. So let's go take a look. All right, so let's start things off with our very first stage, which should actually be quite familiar to you from all the different videos we've been doing. We're gonna start things off by going through our lights because we actually have quite a few of them. And the first one we're gonna go into is this guy right here. This is our key light and it's known as a Nanolight FS150. On it we have this Aperture Light Dome 2 with a grid, and we use it as the key light, not only on the first stage, but also on the second one, but we'll get to that later. And this is our second light, which is a softbox, but it's gonna be missing a diffuser. Inside it we have these four bulbs. Originally they were fluorescent lights, but we replaced them with these warmer bulbs because fluorescent lights have a not so nice greenish tint. And these warmer bulbs help fill the shadows created by the key light and give the shot a sort of cozier and warmer atmosphere. The third light, which is above me, practically just serves to separate me from the background. So when we turn it on, it creates a sort of outline around me and that helps to separate me from the background that will light up now. And as you've probably noticed, we use these two LED panels to create various color effects in all of our videos. Now the last light that might not get as much attention, but it's still very important for us, is this homemade LED decorative light of the Zoner Photo Studio logo, which we use right here in the back. And under the logo, we have this shelf that we can talk a little bit about. We have a bit of green here as a memory of the old studio and some additional decorations. A clapperboard to make things run smoothly here. Both our books, the big book of edits, and the photographer's guide, which you can buy on our website, zoner.com. And you can find the link in the video description as well. Now our lenses are also displayed, and the ones we're currently not using, of course. It's mostly a 35 millimeter and a 90 millimeter from Sigma. We also have a 50 millimeter from Panasonic, but of course that's currently on the camera, and that's what's using to record this video. And we'll get to that. We also use this shelf as a charging station. So we've got chargers in the lower part to keep all the batteries in one nicely organized place. So besides all the fancy bells and whistles visually, we've also got something to allow us to hear the subject that's talking. And that's this extra microphone that resides above my head. It's a shotgun from Zenizer, specifically the MKE 600. And we use a shotgun because we don't want the microphone in the shot. So we're gonna need to use this directional one to pick up the voice when we're recording at a distance. And now we're gonna move to the other side of our studio where we find ourselves at our second stage. And we light it with the same lights as the first stage. So we always have to move everything around nicely. But here we also have this DIY gallows with light bulbs, which will hopefully remain just for hanging light bulbs. And as a decoration, this cute little battery powered lamp. And lastly, this is our photo studio. And of course it consists of canvases. We've got black, gray, white, and this beautiful mustard one, which we actually haven't used it. But we love the color and we're definitely going to use it someday. For photography, we use these two flashes with large rectangular soft boxes and a reflector. We're planning on a video on flash photography, so you definitely have something to look forward to. We mainly photograph our colleagues here, various promotional materials, and all sorts of products. But we also occasionally shoot some videos here as well. We put these blackout curtains on the windows because for any kind of shooting, we ideally need complete darkness so that we can manipulate the scenery with our lights without any external lights. And they also help with the acoustics as well, which we actually solve here with these acoustic foams. So it's still not entirely ideal, so we might have to distribute just a bit more foam around the studio. And in case you're wondering, we record all of our videos on our Panasonic Lumix S5 mirrorless camera. And it's gonna be tailored more towards the videography sphere of things. We also have this GH5, which together with Martin's Sony A7S 3 is our secondary camera. And you could have seen it in some videos. By the way, Martin is our cameraman and editor and is always 
and only slightly behind the camera. And there you have it. This is the setup that we use here at Zoner Photo Studio X to make our videos for you. And I hope it's inspiring that you might take some ideas from our setup and use it yourself. As usual, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe so you don't miss any videos, and let us know what you think in the comments below. We're always interested to hear your thoughts. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.